Okay, in this video, what we're going to talk about is adding a basically adding a selector in here. So um, we talked about adding a band. Um, let's let's just go in here and add a selector. So uh, basically, um, what we're going to do is add uh, a, the ability to be able to change from one to another, and I'll explain this as we go. First, we want to go ahead and start our pending edits. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, go from our timer done. Uh, let's, let's segment this out a little bit. So we'll keep this just like we have it, um, you know, with the reset and the timer done. Uh, what we want to do is what we don't have up here. We have the multiply feature. We have a divide. Um, so what we want to do is get a selector. So if we keep tabbing over to right here, it says uh, select and limit. We want to grab the select. We want to drag it down. And we want to break our wire right here. It is for our preset. We want to drag it over here. And then we want to basically come and tie the uh, output of the selector that we're using to the preset and this is an example of this this would be changing like if we wanted to change the preset of a timer or um, the, you know this is just one example so you could use this any way you want to so we'll, we'll put these uh, the input one would be 25 um, 2500 uh, which would be two and a half milliseconds the second one would be Let's double it. Let's say five uh, five seconds. Now we're going to need the ability to change um, the uh, selector to, from one to another. So what we want to do is add a new tag, and then we'll call this uh, just for the sake of the training uh, selector change. This is just the uh, just for the training. I mean, you can obviously name it whatever you want to. Um, so at this point, we want to go ahead and uh, finalize all edits, being that we don't have uh, any errors. So we finalize all edits. Uh, immediately, we see that. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and make this a little bit more legible. Sorry, I'd like to have. Um, like a clear view so it's easy for somebody to see the wire right here um, so we easily see that this is uh, 200 and our uh, two and a half seconds that is on the output right now so it's currently on selector one are uh, the the first input now if we go to watch which is again a very uh, helpful tool in this instance we can actually go to selector change and go to uh, enter one and it will change to uh, basically five seconds now now what we can do is let's go ahead and enable the timer so we'll start the timer and see that it actually changes the time to five seconds um, of course we have to enable our reset for it to toggle back and forth but um, in this instance we're just using a very very simple timer and we're saying timer done going back and if the timer goes done and the resets on to the uh, the band which is a, a boolean and so uh, in this case multiple um, we are if that's the case then it resets so uh, in this case what we're talking about is the selector um, changing from one to another as far as presets uh, so if I change it back to zero it goes back to 2500 so it's very very simple um, tool to use very very simple um, you know instruction to to grasp and uh, understand um, the uh, purpose behind this is to actually give you uh, an example of you know what to do so you can actually, you know, you could show, you know, what the two, two presets are. You don't even have to have tags here. So say, for instance, we didn't want tags here. Or we didn't want these, uh, 
these wires right here so let's uh let's edit this let's just edit it and let's go in here and and <clears throat> well what we can do is we don't even have to have inputs here right we don't even have to show inputs there for that matter we can just sit there and, and uh, show the selector just like this and then <clears throat> this is very very simple right is we can come in here and uh, now that we have that in there we can come in here and change the presets up here so we let's just say 3500 and let's call this uh, 75 so we don't need to have uh, any kind of tags it's just it's helpful to be able to program and to understand um, if we have tags so you see it still works uh, just like I'm doing right now um, I just don't have any tags these are presets and again these are based upon what I have in the um, these two tag values right here which is the same thing as me pulling it up here this tag value and this tag value so understand you don't have to have uh, an input reference you don't have to have an input reference to use this you can completely just have these um, just where you input value in, in into them you know so you can just uh, and actually we put way too many zeros in there so 500 okay and then uh, again we can come back and uh, so now that we've changed the time or yeah the change change the times back we can put it back to uh, two and a half seconds so hopefully that was a uh, very uh, helpful you know as far as understanding how to use a selector and understanding uh, also too that you don't necessarily need in most cases you um, in some cases you don't need an input reference um, you can just simply you know ignore it you can choose to still view it if you want to view it um, but you can ignore it if you want to and just uh, put the uh, values that you want to change to inside the the tags so um, we'll conclude this short video and uh, that was how to use the selector uh, instruction in uh, function block so again hopefully that was helpful and uh, we'll go ahead and save this and uh, cont continue on to the next video okay thank you